guy? Do I know you from somewhere? I mean, you look dang familiar, like as if, as if we'd done this before in some, some endless haunting loop for which neither of us may ever escape. Huh. Anywho, I'm Herc, and I'm real glad you showed up. I'm looking for a driver. A driver with a prowess for unregulated violence as if they were a younger me. Well, no doubt you've probably heard of my legend, my many outlaw adventures, you know, both in and out of the boudoir. Well, all the stories you heard are true, including the one about me liberating a country with a bunch of monkeys I trained in the deadly art of edge weaponry. But I forsake that life of fame and fortune and all its trappings to settle down. I started a business with my cousin, man. We made party liquor. I fell in love with the woman of my dreams, man. We had a baby. It was a good life, man, a peaceful life. But then, then these highway men, they came and they took it all from me. They took my distillery. They took my ride, they took my woman, and they tried to take my baby. They made this personal. So now, I'm a go on quick on their asses. I'm a fucking take from them, starting with my ride. So I need you to be my wheel man, a fearless companion willing to risk life and limb while I blow the fuck up out of everyone that stands in my goddamn way, like I'm the Jizz Master MC captain. I don't know what that is, man. I got carried away. Jizz Master MC Captain just sounded like, just sounded like a fucking boss to me, man. I feel like a boss, man. I'm in fucking boss mode. Will you join me on this path of vengeance? If you do, me and the monkey gods will reward you with spoils beyond your wildest dreams. Party liquor, pornographic VHS tapes, cool guns. I really appreciate your help, man. I, I promise you, you're gonna love my car, man. It fucking hauls ass, man. All Fast and the Furious style. It's like a fucking boner on four wheels, man. I ain't even kidding, neither. It's like the fastest car in the West. Not even the highway, man, can catch this thing. I mean, David Hasselhoff called me up once, and he was like, yo, between you and me, man, Kit's a fucking bitch. Let me talk about getting your ride. I told him to fucking take a hack, man. That's probably why they stole it in the first place. All just jealous of how fast it goes and how sexy I look when I'm driving my whip. They're so petty. Well, joke's on them. I booby-trapped that car. And yeah, they could never look as sexy as me driving it because I got an inner confidence that just shines through. And it's all about confidence, which is why they brought it here to disable the trap. But, uh, you know, I got to do them first. Hold up! Hold up, hold up, hold up! Better let me turn off that booby trap before you get in. Nope, that's not it. Oh, here, here we go. Wait, what, what the hell is this for? Oh, never, never mind. Never mind, I got it. It's good, I got it. You ready to go so fast your puberty hairs will blow back and tickle your butthole? Oh, shit. Back there, that, that's the booby trap. Turns out, I guess I didn't have to disarm it. Okay, well, no big deal. It should be fine as long as we don't stop for more than like a couple of seconds. Use your guns to take out them barriers. Or you can just drive through it to get my paint. Just keep following the highway.
A goddamn boss. Woo oh man, I, I know we were only going like five miles an hour. But my heart is pounding and my dick is hard. That was that was intense. There was like explosions and gunfire and fucking bison and, and we couldn't stop or we was gonna die. It was like it was like speed but in slow motion, man. Shit, shit. Oh man. And you know, I, I was gonna give you the car as a reward, but but don't worry, I can make you another one, and I promise, I promise it'll go faster, okay? You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we made a pretty good team here, okay? I, I can see you kind of feeling it too. So, if you want, we can we can continue down this path of vengeance, and and we can bust some more heads, man. You know, just 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 give me a call anytime. I'm I'm usually free. Charlemagne Victor Beauchat is the name, but that is a mouthful, so most people just call me Shark. Welcome to Chateau Beauchat, the loudest, smelliest place in all of Hope County. And the only spot where my little shit kicker likes to sleep when he's cranky. He's up there in the bro's nest now. We call him Bull. Come on, man, don't leave me hanging. Hey, you, over here. All right, then, so... We call him Blade. Yeah, he's my cousin Herc's baby, but we're raising him together. I tell you what, though. He's a real chip off the old block, loves farts and the sound of gunfire. It's like swaddling to him. 
Well, technically, this shithole belongs to the uh, highwaymen. But, but me and her, we've been holed up here while the kiddo's teething. It, it breaks my heart when I see that poor little dude cry. Anyways, fucking uh, dipshit highway man. They've been trying to take this place back every night since. So, well, we've held them off so far, but, but I'm a little overwhelmed at the moment. TBH. <laughs> well, uh, so could you do me a uh, do me a solid, be a deer, and uh, help out an overworked mommy? <laughs> I mean, I rigged a bunch of traps with all these high pressure pipes, but they still need to be armed. Little blades got me run off my feet, and I just need five minutes to myself. Maybe have a shit, shake my pits. You know, I'll supervise from up here. You gotta arm the traps, man, so look for the steep vents on the walk. Over here. Oh, thank you, man. I really appreciate the help of me between the baby and those masked dill holes. I've been getting serious. Hopefully these new traps will fend off those shitheads tonight. Never mind my problems, man. You helped me out big time, so you deserve a reward. Try this. Me and Herc's very own homemade party liquor. This is the good private reserve shit, man. We only share this with our closest friends. Joy, <laughs> I should have warned you. Yeah, the party liquor's just asking off the car engines.
terrible place for a baby. Yeah, just terrible. All the sharp, rusted metal and sulfur fumes. I, I don't really know what I was thinking. Prosperity is probably the place for us now. I'm gonna set up shop there. You hit me up and I'll make you uh, some toys that go boom, okay? gonna get that kind of scratch. Hey, Slick. Uh-huh. You got a chip on your shoulder the size of Texas, I can tell. I think we got some twins in common, right? They teamed up with me a while back, you know. I'm like their right-hand man, pretty much. We got this thing where we owe each other every now and then. You know, it's friendly. It's like a give-and-take type deal. But the thing is, I owe them this time around, uh-oh, and I'm in a little, uh, financial, uh, trouble. Now, all I need is a short thing, and boom, hey, no problem. Now, here's a skinny. There's some fighters in this arena, and I need somebody who can give them a run for their money. But first, I need to know you could throw a punch, really hey, make the shit out of somebody, you know? So take a swing at this machine here to measure what you got. Now, I broke it when I gave it a shot. Let's see if you got half as much. That's a fucking punch. Hate to be on the bad end of you. Let's put it to use. Stash your weapons. Obviously, we can't take them where we're headed. And uh, follow me. Come on, it ain't far. Just to be a fighter myself. I wasn't that bad back in the day. I went on a little winning streak. Knocked out 17 guys in a row. Huh? Seven fucking team. Had to quit. Too lethal. Punched the last guy so hard, he farted his brains out. Seriously. Guys, seriously. His brains. And that made me pull up short. I had to think to myself, I got a gift, but I can't control it. Okay, here we are. Head on in, and my associate will help you get processed. Make nice. Uh, don't look him in the eye. After you're done, I'll open the door for you and meet you back at the weapons cache. Well, go get him, chump. I uh, champ. You. Yeah, I'm here for you. I know what's this thing around here. The left center, huh? Follow me. I'm itching to swing this bat. I've been craving that teeth-breaking crap. Gotta go right for the face every time. They never see it coming. 
and then Rose will die. before you go in there, so we know who to bet against. That lollipop! Clearly a lollipop! It's all over their face! <laughs> all right, squirt. Lollipop it is. Get into the ring, lollipop! Here comes little fucker's latest human sacrifice! Lollipop!
am in fucking credible. Over here. You think you're clever, huh? You think you're hot shit? Because that's exactly what you were back there. You fought great. I think you're the kind of asshead I could work with. The asset. I, I mean, asset. Shit we could get up to together. Oh, great things. Great things. I don't even know what that means yet, but I will. You take my word for it. I have the best ideas. Eventually. I gotta put on my thinking cap. Need some space to figure this out, so you run along. Can't think with you nose breathing over my shoulder. I'll be in touch. No more mystery. Don't let Eden hoodwink you, Captain. Suck my dick from the back. Oh shit, it worked. Come over here. Got a real good news, bad news situation brewing here. The good news is I found Gina, Blade's birth mommy, the love of Herc's life. Bad news is the highwayman snatched her up and she's being forced to drive in the prisoner run. It's how they punish those disloyal the gang. And the winner gets their freedom back. Only problem is it's totally rigged, so nobody wins and everybody dies horrible grisly deaths. Yeah, I guess they're still butt hurt that she gave her baby to us instead of them. I guess even helmet heads love babies. I mean, they're so special. Anyways, uh, you need to make sure that Gina wins, gets out of there alive, because that's Blade's birth mommy, and nobody fucks with our family, okay? Also, I don't know if you ever seen Sad Herc, but it's a real shit show. He becomes an inconsolable tubby mess, and I got enough babies to deal with right now. So please, I'm begging you, save Gina, snipe the shit out of anyone who stands in her way.
I had it under control. You didn't have to do that. Listen, I know the stupid race was unwinnable. That's why I wanted to beat it. But thanks. You probably saved my life or whatever. 
I'm not good at apologies. I'm not mad at you. I just wanted to shove that victory in their fucking faces. I've had to put up with the twins' horseshit for years. I kept my mouth shut. I did what I was told. All I ever asked in return was for those two dingbats to leave my baby alone. And what did they do? Try to take my kid away and sent me off to die in their stupid death race. As long as the twins are around, my baby will never be safe. I'm gonna pay the highwaymen back for what they did to me. You're all right. Give me a shot if you ever need an extra gun.